Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 2 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add in our grid lines. We added dimensions so that you guys can follow. And also, we added interior and exterior walls. So here we're going to continue working on this, but let's go to our elevation so that we can start adding a uh, second um, floor later on. But here we just want to uh, add in another level, so our roof line. But here we're going to edit the height of our level 1 to level 2. So now that will be around 3,000. And then our level 2 are still selected. You can type in CO. So that's copy under modify. You can just pull it up. And then you can also type in 3,000. Or you can just click it from there. Press escape and then escape let's pull this up so let's pull this like that we can even add in dimensions for our elevation so that will be good once we have everything set up and then we could create some sheet so here we need to pull this up a little bit like so and then let's Pull this one down and this one so everything is clear. So now let's go back to our level 1. But when you notice on your floor plan, level 3 is not showing yet. So what you have to do is you need to go to view and then under view, go to plan views, floor plan and select the level 3. So at least now everything will be shown and a level is created for you. So that's done. Let's go to level one again and continue working on here. So what we need to do is we need to select this interior wall. And what we could do is we could create an opening. So just click on the wall and then click wall opening. It will have, you will have to select twice here, referring to the opening. So let's type in, let's click on this one and it's easy to edit anyway. So now we could just type here 750. So at least you'll be able to manually set all of this or if you want it by looking only you can just select it here and then you'll be able to move it manually right here as well so i'm just going to undo that so that it's undo again so that it's 750 the way i want it to be open like that we can also do it or open it later on so for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. And then here, this will be our garage. So we will have a powder room right about here and a closet space. This will be a closet space as well. And this will be the dining area. Now, what we could do is we could add in our stairs. So, go to architecture, click on stairs. And as you can see, everything will be based on level 1 to level 2. And what we just need to do is we could just select everything or sketch it and it will be done automatically. 
what we could edit is the no this desired number of stairs. What I usually want is an even stairs. So here you can see that it's 17. I'd rather do it 16 and then apply. And then from there, it could fix it itself. It could calculate how many more or the height or the, the length of the thread and riser. So here, I'm just going to select it like so. So here at the bottom, it will tell you how many you still have and how are remaining. So now I want it to be 8 and 8. So once I have it there, I'm going to move it on this side and create the second 8. There we go. And now just click finish first. We just want to select those all or the stairs and just move it on the or just positioning it. So I just want to position it like so. And we still have enough room. Let me check. I believe this is 1000, around 1000. So that's perfect. So 1100. And now we could just edit, edit the stairs, and we could edit this spot. Okay. And then now what we could do is we could click on this one and extend it right here as you can see it's 1000 um, i believe we could do it 150 or 1050 on each side So I'm just fixing the other temporary dimension. Sometimes it acts up. So I'm, I'm just trying to move it here, but it doesn't like me to move. Okay. So now we get put 1050. There we go. And then after we do that, I'm just going to maximize this. Like that. And I want to make sure that this is all shown like that. And just keep on editing. Okay, so now we have our stairs. So I'm happy with the stairs. Probably I'm not happy with the, the amount of thread, but it is what it is. Um, let me just check our walkway here. So 960, that's good enough, I believe. So now what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to add in another wall right here. So I'm going to click on this interior wall, CS, and let's add this. So we're going to add a wall right here. I'm going to do around probably 1,100. So that's good enough for our powder room. And then we're going to make another, or we're going to add another wall. This is for the closet right here. And the closet space, I want it to be around maybe 650. So that's good enough. And then here, we're going to open this up. So the way that I want to open this up is I'm going to slice this and then just going to pull this uh, wall about here. So SL. So that's under modify and it's it's the icon right here, split element. Click on the wall. Once you split it, you can now then pull this up like that and pull this as well. So that's easy access from the garage or the carport, depending on what you want. We will be able to access right here once we park. And then this will be somewhat a mud room, powder room, and then some of um, some closet space. And then you could either go up or down the stairs. And then here we have everything right here. We have an opening and then obviously we're going to open or this is the garage. So we have the door right here. For this space, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this a little bit. I just want to have a little nook on this spot and I'm going to close it off. So I'm going to select this CS and then let's close it up a little. So we have an entrance door opening here. We have our dining area here, our dining room, family, family room and kitchen. Um, what we could do is we could insert and load families. So here, what we could do is, let's go to plumbing, architecture, and then fixtures. And then here we could have our water closet. We have a 2D water closet right here. Um, we don't need to add the 3D. It's easier for our file to just add 2D. It's because we're not going to show it anyway on 3D. So once you load it, you can type in CM. CM because you don't need to go here, architecture, click on the component or click on this, place component and then look for your stuff. So at least once you load it, place it afterwards. It's easier. And then you just need to type in CM and then you can place it. Unless you're loading some walls, doors and other um, system families you will need to go to the door itself or the window itself. You will need to still click it. So the door is DR and the windows is WN. And you will need to type those so that it's faster for you. So now um, let's load in 
the sink. So let's go back. Fixtures. Sink. Let's add this. And then type in CM. And then here, you just need to place it right there. Press escape and then escape again. Okay. So now, this one is too big, but if we see something smaller, so let's look for another one, another sink that is smaller in size. So we're just going to leave it for now and then we're good, we could just change it later on. Once we see anything that interests me, I could do that. Um, let's add in annotate detail line and I want demolish to be added this will refer to the closet so there we're gonna add in two lines so that's the closet space and let's add it here So just those detail line is just for you guys to know that we have a closet right there. And then now let's go back to architecture and let's add in our floor. So click on floor. Here I'm going to choose this edit type duplicate floor number one. Edit and then click edit again. Thickness, let's do 200. And then for the material, let's go right here. Or let's go and type in stone. So whatever stone that we have. Here, I have it right here under here. So I could just pull it up. And then use this as my material. So once you're done, we could use this pick line. So we're just going to add it from the interior part of the wall. And then once you do, we just need to clean up, especially for this part. So TR. I want to make sure that we only have one there. So I think I double click there. So that's why I want to make sure. So everything looks good. We can now click on finish. And there you have it. We have our floor right here. So let's stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.